I was asked to compare the uh, different apps that are available to plan a trip when you've got an EV. So that's what we are going to do. And for this exercise, we are going to be doing it only on the phone because what's the situation? You hop on the car and you haven't really prepared where you're going and you don't want to make a mess out of it. It shouldn't be too much faff. So you just take maybe one app and it tells you where you're going to stop and when you're going to be charging. So we'll take a look at Charge My Hyundai, Electroverse, Charge Map, Zap Map, what else? Plug Share, and ABRP, a better route planner. Okay, so let's make a start. For this test, we're just going to be trying to drive in the UK. So we're going to go ahead and plan a trip from where we are today, which is kind of London. So we want to go to Chester. All right. So let's do something like that. Trip planner. Right. So four hours and five minutes. That sounds good. Now, charge points. Okay, no charge stops added yet. All right, okay, wow. Okay, so that's manual. So great, I can see all of the chargers and you can see one of them is already on my favorite list. It happens to be a high NET Milton Keynes, great. But charge my Hyundai, not gonna happen, right? Because it's not really taking you to where you can stop. So first one here, it's a bit of a fail, okay? All right, next one, Electroverse. How about that? Chester Zoo. Uh, so Electroverse, going to the Chester Zoo now. But you know what? No option. So Electroverse, not a candidate. I mean, great in terms of seeing loads of charging points. Uh, but again, that's not the question today. So Electroverse, again, that's a fail. And that's not a candidate. Now, ZapMap, that's a classic. So that should work relatively well. Okay, so I've got a good display of all the charging points. That's good. Let's plan a route. Let's make a start. I've got a car that's a Hyundai. That's quite right. 115 miles rear range. Correct. More options. Um, charge at arriving. Charge stop. 10%. All of that is good. I want to see things along the way. 1.5 miles. Yep, sounds about right. Um, yeah, and, and I'm happy to see up to 10 locations. I'm only a CCS type connector. Um, so all of that sounds about right. So let's see what it tells me. Okay, I've got a choice of two uh, ways of going there. I do like the one that goes south rather than north. So that sounds about right. Okay, so now it's computing. It's going to stop. A very nice little thing going on here all right so it's giving me a number of options so where are we so how about this one holiday Inn. well okay so one thing i can't do is i can't select that i want a minimum of three four charges which is something i would do so how about this one now grid serve yeah it's along the way that's fine but just one charger if that's the case it's just not gonna happen I don't want this. How about this? Ibis Rugby. No, but it's now selecting things that are not even uh, funny, right? Because that's not even CCS. Okay, now I, I kind of know I, I could stop here for the first one, Milton Keynes. So it's a bit early, but how do I select that? Right, very tricky. And for now, I still haven't found a decent choice. All right, so not very good here. I mean, I could... I could reduce a little bit the, the range and I could, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's not really working just yet. Uh, what about this one, actually? Yeah, again, issues reported. This one is too far. No, that's not very good at all. I mean, okay, let's just for the sake of it, let's add to the route. And then it takes me here. Shell recharge again, not good enough. Right, so, okay, maybe this one, fine. I got three chargers there, right? So that's it. So 
Yeah, kind of works. I could save the plan. Right, but I don't like the outcome. Right, so I think for me, okay, Zap Map is a candidate ish because frankly, I don't really want to make this stop. This is not a good stop. It does say that I would have 24% charge left. Okay, fine, but it's not a good stop and I couldn't really find something else. So, um, yeah, Zap Map candidate ish uh, not flexible enough next candidate we've got charge map so let's plan a route so i do have an identity subscription so let's see if i can add that as a preference let's go all right let's see what happened there Okay, so it's taking me to a Harvester Grange Park and then SNMFG. Again, what's going on here? 34% by Northampton, just north of Milton Keynes. Okay. But I can't delete that step, right? So let's say for sake of argumentation, I do really want, I mean, it didn't offer it, but I really want to add my stop. Add this Ionity Milton Keynes, for instance. Okay, so I can see stations along the way. Now, that is a very neat feature, very nice, very useful. And then just looking at the types of locations here, I can see this one is the kind of faster charges. because so I could probably change the settings. There you go, right? So I want to say, Oh, that, that's the minimum. So how about I actually add charge at this station. Okay, so it tells me I will have 46% left. Okay. And then I would do a second stop over here. Corley at 15%. Okay, well, that, that's a little bit bizarre though now, I think. Charges to 83 and then not much further down the road. It's at 15, really? Maybe, maybe. Okay. But again, I, I can't, I can't customize that step right so if i wanted to take this instead okay so at least it removed the, the first stop that's fine i mean the second stop okay right so that's it. So for instance, this way, I've somewhat customized. I charge the first time at 46, all the way to 68. That means not very much at all. And then 15 to 86. Okay. Maybe that's a plan. And then can I check how many... All right, so there's two stations there. So they're 50 kilowatt. That's not amazing. But okay, so I think I think that's one way to do it. I'm not hundred percent, but you know there's a choice of charges. I've got some filtering. Um, not sure that's correct on the how much is left on the car, but it's not too far off either, right? So charge map probably a candidate, okay. And then I've got plug share. All right, so let's try to plan a trip. Okay, so that's good. I like the notion of uh, showing all the charges available along the way. So that's quite neat. And then, again, uh, let's say I'm a bit biased and I know where I want to do my first stop. Yep, all right. So the sense I've got here is that it's great to see additional charges, but it's not great to 
Um, yeah, it's not great to edit a trip. You have to be on the computer if you want to do that. So that's not, not great. I do like plug share though for some reason, and that's just for researching the options when it comes to the various charges. Now, because it doesn't have these kind of, again, minimum number of connectors on the stations, and the only real filtering you can do is by score on 0 to 10 scale. Um, again, I find that quite a bit limited. So typically, I wouldn't be using it unless I want to research additional charging stops. ABRP, it's kind of the reference. Okay, so it says it's going to take 4 hours, 27 minutes. We would arrive at Milton Keynes, 33%, which sounds about right, and go on to Osprey, with 7% and 51%. Of course, I've already uh, configured this for my Hyenic, and I do have some network preferences. No, not even in that case, so there you go. So it's uh, taking the INET, but I do have a minimum charger number, right? So minimum number of connectors. That's super important to me because that, that's how you uh, make sure that you're not going to have too much weight or there are not issues with the connectors, etc. So you can still be busy, but at least you've got a lot more choice available. That's pretty much good to go, right? Because I, I don't have much customing, customization to do. I've got three on the Osprey here and I've got yeah four on the INET um, so for me that's that's ABRP it's the most customizable and if I don't really like that first one in fact let's say I want to go somewhere else to uh, just a bit farther because I've got 33 percent so let's let's remove this just for this trip and, um, and let's give it another go Right, so very interesting now, because it's going quite a bit farther, closer to Coventry, apparently. Yep, and it's taking another, yeah, four charger station. And that, that again, is completely viable to me. I mean, the 2% here sounds like it's pushing it a little. Um, let's say that I don't mind doing one more stop for sake of argumentation. Okay, so it does a BP pulse, All right? That doesn't sound that great, but there are three of them. Power stop, Northampton, and then Osprey. Okay, so I think in terms of, not, none of them is perfect, right? But at least with the ABRP, I got an option straight away that was completely viable. Uh, the experience, and maybe I'll come back to this, is that the percentages of state of charge you arrive with, they are about right. They're sometimes a bit uh, pessimistic, in fact. So, so you arrive with quite a bit of margin, and I can also uh, cover how I use it live now. But um, yeah, for me, it's, it's quite, uh, quite straightforward over here. There's only one that was making some sensible choices, and that's ABRP. Now, the others are pretty good for researching the stops or the additional stations, the kind of backups. So uh, the plug share, I think, is very good for that. And to an extent, that map is the classic if you're just going to a location. But in terms of trip planning, in terms of making multiple stops, for me, especially if you're going to go abroad, uh, at the minute, there's pretty much just the one, right? And that's ABRP. So that, that concludes our video for today. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment. Is that the kind of things that are somewhat helpful for you? Um, so yeah, just go ahead and, and let me know. Thank you. Bye-bye.